go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size is me with a smile hey there everyone welcome back to measure and mix today i'm going to share with you some diy winter decor these are all budget friendly trash to treasure or thrifted items that i have made over and they can easily take you from christmas decor into winter decor so that way it won't feel so blah after you take down all those Christmas decorations. Now I did want to share with you guys one quick thing. I did start a Facebook group called Measure and Mixers DIY group and this is a group where you guys can share your DIYs and your crafts and creations to inspire all of us other crafters out there. So head on over to Facebook if you're a part of that and join my group. The link is down below in the description box and I'd love to have you stick around here if you are new to my channel on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss out on a new video. All right, let's get started on the DIYs today. All right, for the first DIY, I'm gonna be making this winter wreath. I'm using this wreath form I got at Goodwill for a couple bucks. It does have some hot glue on it, but I'm just gonna use some little pliers to pick that hot glue off and it comes right off. I love getting wreath forms from the used store because they are just such better quality and bigger, even if they have stuff already on them, you can take them off. Now what I'm doing is just using my white chalk paint and dry brushing all the way around the wreath some of that white chalk paint to give this more of a winter feel now I bought these hydrangeas from Michaels back when they were on clearance at the end of some season I think a couple years ago and I've never used them but they look kind of springy right now so what I decided to do was take some of my stain and use a foam brush and just kind of lightly brush over all of the hydrangeas to give them more of a dried look. After I did that with the hydrangeas, I was ready to assemble my wreath, and I'm gonna start off by using some of this eucalyptus. I got it off Amazon a couple years ago. It's just a few stems that I cut into pieces. So I'm just taking two of the pieces and laying them to one side of the wreath, making sure the stems are um, next to each other, and then just hot gluing those stems down to the wreath. After the eucalyptus was glued down, I used the hydrangeas to cover up the stems of the eucalyptus that were facing each other. So I just laid those over top of the stems um, facing different directions, and then I used some hot glue to secure the hydrangeas down as well. We're holding hands to keep each other warm. Now to add to the other side of the reef, I'm going to use this Z that I found at, actually my mom found it, I believe at Dollar General. It was on clearance for $1.20 or it might have been Family Dollar, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to hot glue that to the other side of the reef. Now to hang this wreath, I'm just going to wrap this ribbon I got from Walmart around the top of the wreath. And I love this ribbon. I used it in all of my Christmas decor. I tried to make everything neutral and make everything easily transition into some winter decor. And I love how this wreath turned out. While we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Next DIY, I'm using these scrap one by three pieces of wood I had out in my garage. I'm just gonna measure them and cut them down to squares. And then I'm using my sander to just sand them and round the edges because I'm gonna make coasters out of these. This would be such a great gift to give somebody is make a set of coasters. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna put on mine, so I was just kind of winging it as I went. So I decided to go ahead and stain them first with some stain. And this is Briar Smoke by Verithane Stain. And then I came back with some white chalk paint and painted them, just dry brushed some on and then used a sand piece of sandpaper to distress them to give them more of a weathered look. 
After the coasters were all painted and distressed, I needed to figure out how I was going to decorate them. So I decided, as you can see here, to print out some vinyl decals with my Cricut. And I printed out four different sayings, like winter sayings. So I printed stay cozy, snuggle up, snowflake kisses, and snow days. And then I went to apply them on to the wood and they did not stick. I was so disappointed. I worked really hard on getting these to stick down. Um, it was a struggle. I realized after the fact when it was already too late that I should have applied a coat of polycrylic on top of the pieces of wood before I applied the vinyl and then the vinyl would have stuck to the wood. Anyways, no big deal. I made it work out and I love how they turned out. I just put a coat of Mod Podge over top of all of them to keep the vinyl um, stuck down. And then I tied everything with a piece of twine. And I think this is so perfect for winter decor. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. For this third DIY, I'm going to use a piece of barch wood that I cut from a longer piece of log that I got from my local plant nursery about a month ago when I decorated my front porch. And then I'm going to use this drill bit I got from Home Depot that cuts uh, clean holes into wood. And I got it the same size as my tea light candles that I'm going to be placing inside the holes. I'm going to be making a candle holder out of this. So I just placed the drill drill bit on top of the wood and started drilling to make a circle hole and it was actually a lot harder than it looks. You need to be really careful when you're using this drill bit because it needs to catch on the wood and your wood will spin out on you and your hand will turn and all of that stuff. So um, yes, definitely be aware of this drill bit and know how to use it. My husband actually had to come in and finish this first hole for me. Um, I actually ended up drilling pilot holes for the other two and then drilling the holes in those and they went a lot smoother. And then I just put my candles in, which I would suggest using battery operated candles. And that was it for this project. All right, for the fourth project, I'm using some more of those birch wood logs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip them of their bark. So I'm gonna take a box cutter. This is one just from Dollar Tree. It has a sharp blade on it, and I'm just gonna score along the top of the wood all the way down and then I just peeled the bark right off. Um, it did tear in the spots where there was knots in the wood but it still came off pretty nice and clean and it was easy to get off of the piece of wood. Next, I'm gonna take three books that I already had. These are just old books that were lying around that we've already read and are done with. You can use books from the thrift store or Dollar Tree, any books that you just don't care about anymore and you've already done with and read, you can use them for this project. So what I did was I just took the back and front cover of the book and then I just peeled it off from the binding, leaving just the page exposed and then what I'm gonna do is take that birch wood bark and I'm gonna cover the binding in the birch wood bark so I just lined up the piece of birch wood along the binding and use some hot glue to secure it down and then I cut the excess um, birch wood off with the box cutter, making sure that I was careful not to cut the pages of the book. And then um, you can see the birch wood doesn't go all the way across the binding. It stops. Um, so I took another piece of birch wood and I just lined it up where the one piece stopped and then just cut that one down to size and hot glue that in place. And I don't think it's that noticeable. You can't tell the birch wood is pretty forgiving. Um, so that's why I really like it. 
Now you could definitely add some wording to the binding of your books by stamping the lettering or using your Cricut um, or writing with just a Sharpie marker on there. You could write somebody's names on there like family members names or the last name, something like that and give this as a gift. Um, I just left mine plain and simple and I tied some twine around them and tied a little bow and that was it. I think that this is perfect piece of winter decor. Ooh, making plans, what we're gonna do? I feel so blessed that I can be with you. God knows that I've been For the last DIY, I'm gonna use two of these tin cans that I just saved from my recycle bin, and I cleaned them out really well. Now what I'm gonna do is there is a little lip there that I don't want um, anybody's fingers to get cut on. So I'm taking the can opener and just going around the edge and trying to get that lip off. The can opener actually helped to lay the lip of the metal down and then I used a, a little pliers there to kind of just um, push the can together and then I took the labeling off and used some goo gone to get the glue off and came back with some black chalk paint and gave these both two coats of black chalk paint. Now I'm just gonna take that same ribbon from Walmart and wrap each can with a little hot glue in that ribbon around the middle. I did use some twine and wrap the twine around the middle of the ribbon and tie a little bow as well. Lastly, I just filled these vases with some of that eucalyptus that I got from Amazon, and then these hydrangeas were from Dollar Tree. I just did the same stain technique on them so they would match the wreath, and that was it. I had some cute winter floral arrangements. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon until we reach a place we can stay. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope these DIYs gave you some inspiration on how to decorate after the holidays. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out that Facebook group. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Happy holidays. We can stay.